Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, February 24th, 2015. This article from Global Research. U.S. government moves on nationwide adult vaccination. The transnational pharmaceutical cartel will be positioning itself to profit handsomely if a federally mandated adult immunization program becomes law. The proposed U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, policy will be implemented alongside the Obama administration's Affordable Care Act, ACA, thereby becoming a standard component of U.S. national health care policy. Published on February 6, 2015, amid the measles outbreak media frenzy, the HHS is accepting public comment on its draft National Adult Immunization Plan until March 9th of 2015 under NAIP all adult American citizens will be compelled to receive current and retroactive vaccination regimens that may amount to several dozen shots per individual during their catch-up phase. Under the federally mandated immunization schedule, children presently receive 49 vaccinations vaccines before the age of 6. The NAIP underscores how the adult schedule includes catch-up vaccinations for those adults who never initiated or did not complete a multi-dose series when vaccination was first recommended during childhood. Catch-up vaccinations include vaccines such as measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella, which are routinely recommended for administration during childhood. The NAIP is intended to supplement the National Vaccine Plan, NVP, published in conjunction with the ACA. The HHS describes the NVP as a guiding vision for vaccination for the decade 2010 to 2020 and strategic direction for coordination of the immunization enterprise in the United States by highlighting the alleged public health problem posed by the low vaccination rates of U.S. adults. The NAIP is intended to promote coordinated planning, and action across all stakeholder groups. The 52-page document reads, including those within and outside of the federal government, in addition to the health and personal related agencies within HHS, purview such as the Centers for Disease Control and the Food and Drug Administration. Other government and stakeholder groups include the Department of Defense, the Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Justice, the vaccine industry, and the academic research organizations. Given the frequent and serious side effects of vaccines routinely documented in the inserts accompanying them, the government appears to be waging a high-stakes game with public health under the guise of prevention that will soon extend to the entire U.S. adult population. The NAIP is unambiguous in its ambition and intent. The vision for adult immunization is to protect the public health and achieve optimal prevention of infectious diseases and their consequences through vaccination of adults. Page 6. The NAIP was developed in coordination with the RAND Corporation, whose services were enlisted to review historic literature, interview stakeholders, and collect plan date to identify plan priorities and key indicators. Specific subgroups of adults will be particularly targeted for vaccination, such as healthcare workers and pregnant women. HHS lists four specific objectives in its NAIP policy. The subpoint strategies of each goal are summarized below, although it should be noted that the original document contains highly detailed strategy strategies for achieving each. Number one, strengthen the adult immunization infrastructure. Monitor and report trends in adult vaccine preventable disease levels and vaccine coverage data for all ACIP recommended vaccines. In cases where there are associated healthy people, 2020 goals measure progress toward each established targets. Enhance current vaccine safety. Continue to analyze claims filed as part of the National Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. As I go down here, improve access to adult vaccines. 
Number three, increase community demand for adult immunizations. Increase community demand. I think the objective should be decrease it. Foster innovation in adult vaccine development and vaccine-related technologies. Despite religious and philosophical exemptions from vaccines offered in almost every state, not to mention the abundant side effects, including possible carcinogenesis associated with such substances, roughly 95% of American families subject their children to federally mandated immunization schedule. Under the NAIP, government bureaucrats and the vaccine industry are now poised to foist a similarly intensive yet scientifically dubious program on the entire U.S. population. Wow. This is something else. Well, first let me just say that vaccination and immunization are two different things. If you are immunized against something, you have a natural defense against it. If I catch a virus and I my body fights it off, I am further immunized against that virus from attacking me again. My body has immunized myself against that target, that threat. Vaccines are not immunization. Vaccines are vaccination. Two different things. And I, for one, have no desire to get ketchup vaccinations for anything at all. This is unbelievable. And of course, it's tagged on to the Obamacare Affordable Act, um, forcing people into things that they don't want or need. Sickening. Hope everyone has a great day.